Okay, so dear Dhamma practitioners, be comfortable yourself and relax your body. Keep your back straight and neck head straight in one line and your right palm on your left. So gently close your eyes and bring your attention to this bell sound. And while you're focusing to the sound, you can mentally relax your body, relax your mind and relax your breathing with your thoughts. So do nothing extra. Just follow the sound, please. Bhagavato Arahato Samma Sambuddhas Namo Tas Bhagavato Arahato Samma Sambuddhas Namo Tas Bhagavato Arahato Samma Sambuddhas Homage to the Blessed one, the exalted one, the fully enlightened one. So, dear Dhamma practitioners, in this ongoing meditation sessions, we mainly try to give some information to practice yourself and have a very good foundation within your own practice. So then always remember yourself that you are your own master and you are your own teacher and you have to practice within your own mind. There is no any kind of teachings that you can bring from outside and change your inside. It is your own inner understanding bring the opportunity for you to change yourself. So in the very first level, you have to have the will to change within yourself. And not because somebody else, not because another reason coming from outside. You have to understand so far in this life, that whatever happened to you and that everything happened because of your own mind. When you understand that, then you take a very strong decision to change your mind. The changing your mind means not putting something to inside your mind. Here, the changing your mind means get out of your thinking pattern, thought pattern. Because our mind is like the, the hard disk, overwrite again and again and again and again. So we use the thoughts. And by the same kind of thoughts, it overrides your own ideas. And then once you feel comfortable with that overwriting, and you, you don't want to get out of it. So the sansara itself means that our mind overwrites again and again and again with the new kind of ideas, thoughts, and the desires coming from the same source same roots. So once you come to a point to find the just empty moment, that means not to react to any kind of thoughts and settle down. Another way it's called stillness. You just settle down with the moment. 
without looking for anything, but recognizing with your own, the experience happening within yourself. So looking here means that with the desire, you ponder your mind forward with ideas or thoughts or the desires with the plans, so kind of like that. But once you come to the meditation, rather than looking with the desires, with the thoughts, you settle down with the skillness and then you develop the awareness, the very awareness here we call seeing. To see, you no need anything. That is the bottom line. To see, you no need anything. Only thing is, you have to have an inner strength, effort, will to see. Once you see, because if you use a method to see, listen this very carefully, if you use a method to see, you cannot see. It is not anymore seen because that whatever that you use as a method or the intention once you have already, it overwrites your mind. So as example, you want, you have an intention to find the calmness with the meditation. So before you come to the meditation, you think, oh, I want to calm my mind. And then you sit for meditation. And now your mind already preconditioned to look for something. It is not seen. You have inner intention and then you look for calmness. It is, then what happened, you disconnect from the real moment. So the seeing here, you just that the you just experience with very conscious effort. With your awareness, you observe and recognize. So that another way we call tranquility state. And just seeing itself also doesn't make any change within us. Tranquility state, maybe you find the calmness, undisturbed mind, and maybe you, you stay for 10 minutes, 20 minutes, maybe you, you can practice for one hour, but that doesn't bring a change to inside you. It will, it will find the very comfort itself. So once you find the calmness, here that this is why you have to be very strong within yourself to, to look into your inner experience. Once you calm down, once you settle down with the tranquility state, you have to deeply observe the very nature of the moment that you go through. Right now, right here, the moment that you go through, it's not belong to you and it is not permanent and it is kind of like a formless. It never go into come to a form. If you, if you see it itself, how the experience become form? It become a form once you start to, to convert the experience to thoughts because mind, will understand by name and form. And once something, once whatever the experience become name, that name and form, that's mean it belong to history. Because the, in the very moment to recognize something, you no need the name or form. So that recognition direct perception, clear comprehension, awareness, nothing to do with thoughts. Remember that. 
if something come to your mind as thoughts it always related to your past so even the moment of experience if you understand by thoughts that's mean already it happened and then you re 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 that you repeat the the experience so deeply we addicted to this thinking pattern and then that's why you have to understand yourself meditation it's itself mean not kind of like a thinking or dreaming or visualizing kind of like that it's it's nothing wrong with it but the thing is you you cannot go beyond your mind you cannot get into the the ultimate truth happening underneath this our own inner experience so that's why you have to be very careful when you practice meditation don't reflect on thoughts so our primary mental object our own inhalation exhalation and slowly follow that inhalation exhalation allow it to happen itself don't interfere with it and don't have any kind of self conversation your within your mind Men, get out of mental chattering and you know it happening in front of your nose and your upper lip area and try to see it so when you recognize inhalation as inhalation exhalation as exhalation just keep following keep following if any thoughts come to you just recognize it is a thought that's mean it already related to past then this moment nothing to do with the past so get out of it and then keep keep focus to the inhalation exhalation so here i want to give some information regarding the primary mental object once you come to meditation remember develop a very solid posture when you practice by yourself so wherever you go whatever you do when you come to your own in, in meditation practice one of the important thing is get into a very solid posture one minute enough two minutes three minutes so expand the capacity little by little little by and you no need to push too much and you no need to relax too much so find yourself the strength and keep the balance with you because that once you come to this physical balance that's give a huge help for your inner practice life basically physical in a very conventional life basically physical so we have to use this physical life as a ladder as a vehicle to get into our inner nature so if you neglect this physical part you cannot go into your inner awareness because the, the your you have this everything happen together inside and outside there is no separation so do all of the stillness and when you have time look at any some any material thing just as example so this uh, this bottle of water you know so you keep it just to take this cup Okay, you keep it somewhere and any any material thing whatever so even if you can take a buddha statue that's a very good mental image for you because it it's give you the posture 
and it is solid, unmovable, and at the same time pleasant, and you feel so comfortable to look into it. Just look at it. Look at this without moving. When you deeply come to, to see the cup itself, what happened to your mind, it slowly start to grab the stillness. So physically, look yourself. If you can't, this is, this is something you can test yourself. If you can't have a solid posture, one reason, you cannot even look into something very carefully. It just, just look at it with your eyes and just keep looking a little bit. Even maybe you have behavior, you know, like uh, when you sit to watch the movies, or the TV, or you go, you go to the computer. You cannot keep looking, keep watching something continuously. You may keep changing, changing, changing the channel. No reason. You put this channel, you put this channel, change the channel. You, you have this inner busyness. So if you want to get into very solid posture and remember in day-to-day -day life practice look at the tree just keep looking only the tree and then you will sleep deeply you will get connected to the stillness that the, the tree carries so it your mind start to absorb it as a quality and look at the buddha statue and look at any material thing. And slowly you start to, to get into that stillness inside you. So that, that is something that you exercise, that you can practice yourself and you can exercise yourself to develop the stillness. Just by sitting, you know, where, wherever you sit, just bring a clear attention, don't move your eyes and keep looking and just see, just try to absorb the, and get connected to harmonize with the with whatever the object in front of you. Keep doing it for a few days. And then you will see when you close your eyes, it will help you to slowly settle down. And with our primary mental object in front of our nose and upper lip area, there are many places that people focus their mind and uh, develop the, the tranquility state. If you can do with anything, it is okay. And especially when it comes to the vipassana, kaya anupassana, contemplating the body, and vedana anupassana, contemplating the feelings, chitta anupassana, contemplating the thoughts, dhamma anupassana, contemplating the phenomena or the, the very na natural nature. So those are the mainly take as primary mental objects. And uh, so here, when we develop the tranquility state, we have to, to develop this physical balance. And at the same time, deeply, it will help you to gain the mental balance. So once you develop the physical mental balance that both ones come together, your awareness becomes sharper, clear. So why, why we keep focusing to in front of our nose and upper lip area? So as you know, your brain behave in certain ways. The left side behave different way, right side behave different way. So in day-to-day -day life, physically, if you try to, if, if you are a right-hander and if you start to do it with your left hand, it, it, your brain try to find the balance. And whatever you used to do with the left hand, if you are a left-hander, once you, once a while, you know, if you start to do it, it with the right hand, your brain start to behave in a certain way your neurons start to react in a different way. 
with the meditation, you don't need to do, do this, any physical activities like that. Way. So as you know, the, the brain inside, like the walnut in the, in the middle, there is a line. And the left side, right side, it's, it, the, the middle create kind of like a bridge. So once you focus to in front of your nose and upper lip area, what happening, your left side and right side brain, all the neurons start to come to a very center point. Even though physically you are a left hand and the right hand are like that way, maybe your creativity, maybe your mathematical method uh, and uh, development, the science and technology side, or the art and creativity. So maybe the outside behavior, different according to left side or the right side, once you're able to come to settle down in the tranquility state, you're going to develop a very balanced mind inside you. So that balanced mind itself strengthen your inside all the, the organs. And that entire body in a certain level, your, your breathing has a deeper connection with your brain. So the brain can listen to your breathing, not whatever the, the, the thoughts. And the, your brain and your heart has a deeper connection with the, the inside with the nerve system. So then according to the behavior of inhalation, exhalation, the brain function different way. So now you come to your, in, your awareness, you bring to in front of the nose and upper lip area. And in that level, your awareness start to happen naturally itself. And that is one of the best exercise that you can give to your heart because that is the place that is going to start to function naturally itself according to its own rhythm and then it is start to function in that natural way and bring the strength to your brain and everything head to toes hold your body and your brain and the heart and the breathing everything start to work together this togetherness, this combination, this harmony itself bring the tranquility state. At least, at least try to, to develop that state in you in day to day life. Even you no need to sit for meditation. No, so when you have free time, when you are, when your mind disturbed unhappy, sad, worried, disappointed, high with the emotions, the feeling so happy, joy. And you, you want to kind of like express with the, 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 the voice, just bring the attention to the inhalation, exhalation. And then you will see itself. And the whole system settled down. In any situation, remember yourself, the whole system will settle down with the once you bring the attention to the inhalation, exhalation, and once you calm down it. In the beginning, you have to take a mental decision, conscious decisions to calm down. And once you allow it to naturally happen, and your mind itself become so comfortable. And then the, your awareness become more sharp and clear. So if anybody uh, with your friends, husband, wife, children, remember this, apply it to your life. If any child, if any person having some kind of uh, physical unbalance or the emotional unbalance, and always remember it happens in the very first level with the, the breathing, with the connection of our body. 
So you are your own pharmacy, you are your own doctor, and you, you, can, you can develop this. And once you disconnect from the natural rhythm, what happens? Your brain start to function in a different way, heart disconnect, and then the, the body, the, the organs disconnect, and then your inside collapse. And you know that the, if, the, if the inside your house or your garden, if the plumbing system is work properly, you don't call for a guard, the, the plumber. So sometimes inside something block, it doesn't flow, the overflow. Then what we suddenly do, we call for a plumber to clean all the lines. So your thinking pattern has the same thing, system. Just imagine, just imagine. You know, you, you can get the, this example, just imagine. Inside your house, underneath this floor, look at how the plumber system works. Just, just think. In case it's someplace block, what will happen? Then it is start to reverse. Then how about this? Look at this entire city. In this or Los Angeles, in this, you know, the whole city. Even though you are like this, the deeper underneath this ground, the plumber system work 24-7. And in case if something blocks somewhere, what will happen? The whole system collapse. So your, 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 your mind the same, your brain the same, your heart the same, your body the same. It whole system, always 24 seven, it's work. So if you the, the, the strength to flow, bring through the breathing and that invitation, the breathing, the pattern going to change according to your thoughts. So that's why why you why you interfere the interfere with the thoughts to that natural process. When you caught up in thoughts, what happening? It directly the very first thing happening to you, it attacked your breathing system. Any disease, mostly the physical disease, not this uh, like virus, but if something happened with your body, and the one of the major reason is your breathing system is wrong. You disconnect from the natural breathing system. If your body have any pain, if the physical organ fail, the one of the major reason is you disconnect from the breathing. Why you disconnect from the breathing? Because of your thoughts. So the tranquility state itself allow you to, to get connect physically and internally with this whole system. Before even we go to, you know, this, uh, all the vipassana, all the underneath the ultimate truth, just the, you know, the, the physical level, if you can't settle down with the sensation of inhalation, exhalation, how we can go beyond that? That's why don't look ahead. To don't, don't try to jump. Just settle down with the moment because you are, 100% qualified for that. You don't need anything to learn new. You already have that all the wisdom, knowledge, and all the capacity. But the problem with us, our own thinking mind, not allow us to settle down with that. So all this technique, the, brief, the meditation means what? In the very first level, we slowly release our old thinking patterns. Otherwise, you not bring anything out. You have to be very clear with this and understand this. Practicing meditation here, tranquility state means 
you slowly get into your deeper stillness happening already in you, not you bringing something from outside. Then you have to see why you is because that is stillness, even you looking at me, it is there in you. So then why you, why you cannot see it? Why you disconnect from that? Because of your thinking pattern. So then how, how you can get into that? Slowly drop your thinking pattern and settle down with the, the present moment. How you can do? That's why you need the primary mental object. So once you settle down with the primary mental object, you get into that deeper stillness and the connection, harmony. Harmony with the body and mind, breathing, everything. And once you come to that level, you keep the awareness and observe deeply what is that experience. And that is where you're going to find out Underneath these old thoughts, that what we experience is nothing. There's nothing. Once you see it within yourself, you know whatever comes with thoughts. And on the surface level, it looks like something. But underneath it, it's nothing. So this bottle of water. You know, it, behind this all, even though these four elements, it came to this hand, like this, to my hand, through the mind. Otherwise, the pl plastic itself, paper itself, or the water itself doesn't have the power to become a bottle like this. So it came through the mind. So if you able to release your mind, so it came through the mind, meaning it came through the thoughts. So once you release that thoughts in you, the plastic, the paper, the bottle of water, the water, even though it is here like this, once your mind gets out of the thoughts, in your mind, there is a way that you experience. There is no bottle like this. For the moment, you, you recognize it. For the moment, it is real. Everybody can see, I can touch it, I can feel it, it is real. But how about after 100 years, we come back, we all gather and come back and look this bottle of water. You cannot find it. Because itself, it doesn't have power to be a bottle of water. Same like everything. So now apply it to your own body. This each and every cell in our body, muscle, nerve system, bones, itself doesn't have power to become a body. How then it become a body? It become a body because of the mind. So one should, how the mind become like that because of the thoughts. So once you get out of the thoughts, there's no way your body can be itself like this and to become like that. So even the, that you experience here like you, your body, once the mind understand that anymore, you recognize there is no the body like that to be itself and appear as a body again and again, again and again. That is where you get out of becoming nature. So it is all in your mind. That mind happening because of the thoughts. Thought happened because of you reflect on past. 
and it come to you because of the, the, the past bring by the desires. And once you come to the moment of present realization or the, once you settle down with the primary mental object in the very basic level, you can come to a point to slowly drop that current. And once you drop that current and settle down with the present moment, there is a deeper realization going to happen and you can see the moment by moment, moment by moment you experience is always changing. And not, it is not permanent. It's nothing to do with the self, selfless. Everything happened according to necessary course and conditions in that very moment, in that very environment. Once you have that understanding that itself, you become free from your own thoughts not something else from outside. You become free from your own thoughts. Remember, your own thought has power to put, in, put you into the heaven, put you into the hell, and to get out of this all. So it is your own choice. So then once you close your eyes, remember that you have your own responsibility. So develop a mental discipline. Physically, develop the stillness. Mentally, develop the awareness with the primary mental object. So with that, we're going to practice a little bit now. So everyone can settle down yourself and uh, keep your back straight, neck head straight in one line and your right palm on your left. So bring your attention to your body, please, and gently close your eyes. And observe head to toes three times yourself and say Suopatweva or may I be well and happy. Take a moment and think. We gathered here in this moment to practice this ancient meditation technique. All the Buddhas, all the enlightened masters followed this path and achieved wisdom. So we also gathered here to accumulate that knowledge. In this moment with this sitting, may my body become more comfortable, may my breath be more smooth, may no difficulties come to me, may all the success come to me. Also, think for a moment. This is the last moment we are spending in this very lifetime. Detach your mind from all your past memories and as well as any kind of future thoughts. Just try to remain in the present moment, observing the sensation of your inhalation and exhalation. So in the beginning, deeply and gently, breathing, breathe out three times and find the sensation, please. So now allow your inhalations, exhalations happen naturally itself. Don't interfere with it. Don't have any kind of mental chattering. Just bring your fully attention to the sensation and recognize when the inhalation happens, when the exhalation happens, recognize inhalation as inhalation, exhalation as exhalation. Do nothing extra.
Bring my attention to your body. Observe your posture. We cultivate loving kindness and compassion in our heart and radiate it as a light through entire your compound, village, city, state, country, world, around this universe, also as far as you can, through galaxies, other planets, stars, reminding yourself like this, with clear intention mentally, Repeat after me. May all living beings in this universe be well and happy. May everyone be happy and safe. And may their hearts be filled with joy. May all living beings live in security and in peace. Being so frail or strong, tall or short, big or small, visible or not visible, near or far away. already born or yet to be born. May all of them dwell in perfect tranquility. Let no one do harm to anyone. Let no one put the life of anyone in danger. Let no one out of anger or ill will wish anyone any harm. Expand the loving kindness and compassion beginning from your heart. Forward. Visualize yourself and send it as a light. To your backside. To your left side. And to your right side. Downward, and upward, to all six directions at once, like the moon, the sun, Spread the light, spread the energy without any condition, without any limitation, without any resistance or without any judgment. Let your heart to shine with the loving kindness and compassion from the bottom of it with the maximum effort to the highest. Wishing yourself May all living beings in this universe be well and happy.
Se sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. So, we offer this practice to the great qualities of the Supreme Buddha, Dhamma and the Sangha. And also by the power of this meritorious deed, may all of us get out of sickness or the disease or the aging and the death. And finally, may all of us attain supreme bliss of liberation or the Nibbana. Also, we transfer these merits to all our guardian angels and deities. May they be able to gain these merits and increase their longevity and protect all of you from any kind of planetary influences or any ill effects. Ittavata chamihi sampadang punya sampadang sabbe deva numodantu sabba sampatti siddhiya sabbe bhuta numodantu sabba sampatti siddhiya sabbe satta numodantu sabba sampatti siddhiya Imaya Dhamma Anu Dhamma Patipatiya Buddham Pujemi Dhammam Pujemi Sangham Pujemi Attaya Imaya Patipatiya Jati Jaravyadi Maranam Ha Paribunjissami Idamme Punya Kammam Asavakya Vahang Hotu Sabadukapam chatu. Bless you.